Hi everyone. It is Monday, April 20th, and this week we are going to still work on measurement, um, but we're going to talk about weighing. So remember at school we had a balancing scale where we would put something in one side and something in another side, and then it would go like this, or it might stay the same, which meant it was balanced. The side that went down was heavier than the side that was up higher. So I'm going to show you how you can make a balancing scale at home and then how to practice using it to practice weighing things to tell the difference between things that are heavy and things that are light. So you're going to need a hanger. You're going to need two pieces of string that are cut the same size and two cups. It could be drinking cups like this. It could be any size paper cup. And then if you guys have a hole puncher at home, you want to poke a hole in each side of your cup. Um, do that to both cups. If you don't have a hole puncher, then maybe ask mom or dad. Maybe they can use a pen or scissors to poke a hole through. Then you want to take your string and you're going to put it through both of the holes in your cup. So it will be like this. And then you want to tie a knot. So you have, it looks something like that. Then you're going to do the same thing to your other cup. And then each of the cups will go on each side of your hanger. Okay, here's the other cup. So here's your hanger. There's one. And there's the other one. Okay, so it'll look something like this when you're done. Then you want to hang your uh, hanger on a doorknob or a knob to um, a dresser or something. I have my dresser right here, so I'm going to use that. Okay, so what you do then is you want to use some things to put into each of your cups and then the weight should shift um, and then you'll be able to see which side is heavier and which side is lighter. So I gathered some small things. I have some marbles, of course Legos. Crayons, buttons, and paper clips. Okay. So then you can um, play with it. You can just put random amounts of things, put some buttons in one side, and I'll put some Legos in the other side. And then I'm going to hold it so it's easier for me to show you. But if you can see, the button side is down a little bit more than the Lego side. I put more buttons in and you can really see the difference. Okay. So what I've done is I made a paper. Um, using the things that I have at home and I decided I said five buttons and three paper clips six Legos and two marbles three crayons and three marbles seven marbles and eight crayons so I basically just chose different numbers to put beside an object you want to pick two different objects. And then this is my guess side, my prediction side. 
So I'm going to guess which one is going to be heavier. Okay. So I'm going to guess five buttons are heavier than three paper clips. And I'm going to guess that two marbles are heavier than six Legos. Um, I'll say three crayons instead of three marbles. And then I'll say seven marbles instead of eight crayons. So I circled my guesses, my predictions. So then over here, I'm going to put the answer once I weigh the items using my balancing scale. Okay? So, first one was five buttons. One, two, three, four, five. And three paper clips. So there's one, two, three. And you see? almost looks the same. The buttons are slightly lower than the paper clips. So my answer was right. I had guessed five buttons and the answer was five buttons. So I put my answer was my five buttons. All right, so now I can dump those out. Next is six Legos. One, two, four, five, six, and two marbles. And I thought that the two marbles would be heavier. So there's one, two. Right, can you see a difference in my cups? The marbles are down just slightly more. So I was right. My two marbles are heavier. So I'm going to dump those out. Next is three crayons and three marbles. Now there's three crayons and then three marbles. One, two, three. Hey, can you see my cups? I don't know. To me, they look pretty even. They look about the same, so I'm going to just write the word same. All right, and then the last one was eight crayons and seven marbles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm trying to hold it. Trying to hold it steady. Hmm. I think I'm going to put it over here on the dresser. Because it's kind of hard to tell. The crayons are actually a little bit heavier. So that one I was wrong. I had said set the seven marbles. Alright, so I did better with this estimation than I did with our non-standard measurement, if you remember. Um, so some other things you could use um, to put in your cups. Rocks, you could get some rocks from outside. If you have small crackers, cereal, goldfish crackers, any type of small candy, um, dice, coins, your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, your quarters. And then, of course, any of the things that I used. Um, now, I was holding it so you guys could see because that was easier for me to do for recording. But you want to place your hanger when you're actually measuring, um, like I said, on a doorknob or on a dresser knob. So that way you can really see the differences with the cups. So remember, you're looking for things that are heavier. You want to make your guesses first. 
then measure with your scale and see what your answers come out to be. So that's pretty much it for today's lesson. Again, you just want it, you're doing heavy and light just to compare the weight of different objects. All right, so good luck. Let me know how things go and I will see you again.